So itong phone na ito, si OnePlus 11, is the flagship ng OnePlus. And it has been here sa Philippines for roughly 2 months already since its release. Now, uh, after several updates, gusto natin i-check itong phone na ito kung mas efficient na ba siya. Better camera performance, better gaming performance, unlike previously. Alamin natin after this quick intro. So hi guys, I'm Rich Man ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. But before all that, pakita ko muna sa inyo quick unboxing ng phone na ito. So guys, itong phone na ito, si OnePlus 11 na may 16GB of RAM, 256GB of storage is priced at $49,999. So I'll be posting it on the link on the description box below. Just check it out. So alam natin si OnePlus did take a fall after umalis ni Carl Pei, ang kanilang previous CEO and founder. And he formed his own company, si Nothing. So itong OnePlus 11 is more of a comeback phone na itong company nito. Packing inside the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And nalaman natin previously that this one has, well, a little bit underperformance when that is a Genshin Impact. That's probably one of the reasons bakit naggamit ng YouTube playback ng Genshin Impact ang one of the Philippines' top blogger in his YouTube video. But of course, din naman natin pag-uusapan extensively yung ginawa niya. More of, papakita ko sa inyo ang kanyang performance. So after two months, i-rate lang natin ang kanyang Antutu benchmark. So here we go. So yan guys, nakita natin after several updates, ang kanyang score has went up from 900 plus if tama ako yung first time na take natin ang score niya. Tumaas talaga siya, drastically. Pagdating sa term mga sa likod, well, mainit pa rin pero hindi naman sobrang nakakapaso. So check yung kanyang DRM info, it was able to get a level 1 sa Widevine Security Level. As expected naman dito, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, max out sila lagi sa wildlife. So since itong phone ito comes together with a 100 watts na Superbook charge, charging ang kanyang 5,000 mAh sa battery from 10 to 100 takes only just 35 minutes to complete the full charging cycle. Quite fast naman siya for me. So since I have been using this for quite some time, and itong phone ito, well, does last the whole day for me on normal usage like uh, social media, uh, taking some phone calls, using some uh, video chat, playing some light games, taking some photos. Kaya-kaya naman na mag-last ng one whole day. Walang problema dito sa OnePlus 11. Now, one of my favorite dito sa phone na ito is maganda ka display. This one has LTPO3 na fluid AMOLED display and 120Hz ka na screen refresh rate. Kaya din naman niya mag-support the HDR10+. And ka maximum brightness dito is 1,300 nits. And 6.7 inch ang kanyang screen size. And roughly, meron siya 90% na screen to body ratio. Meaning, manipis ang kanyang bezel. Pero for me, ah, ilalim niya, medyo meron pa rin, pero of course, not that thick. And cur dahil curved screen siya, so hindi mo mapapansin ang kanyang gilid. And ang kanyang punch hole dito na front-facing camera is not that big either. So if you like watching videos, mga Korean novela, like Duty After School, okay na okay dito, kahit mga dark scene, makapapansin mo, the black is blacker, sharp ang kanyang mga colors. It's really nice uh, binge watching on this phone, kahit mapanood ka mga anime, watching some basketball games. I can say na for sure mag enjoy kayo watching all of your favorite films on this phone. Now, one of the more frequent things to do dito sa phone na ito is of course browsing social media. Well, no question asked, smooth na smooth siya dito, naka 120Hz of screen refresh rate. So either you're watching it on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, expect very smooth experience while browsing. So I've been doing several uh, throttling tests dito sa phone na ito since after the update. So nilagyan natin sa 20 minutes ang kanyang testing. So niran ko siya for several times, maybe 5 to 6 times to check kung more or less pareha ang mga rating na nakukuha ko. And it started off sa simula, may makita kang uh, a little bit of red. But all the way, mapapansin mo, green naman siya all the way. And mapapansin ko rin na there are some times na nag yellow siya ng konti. And ang kanyang maximum performance is... 300,000 GPS ang kanilang minimum is 208 GPS. So right now, to translate natin itong performance nito into gaming. So playing the game Call of Duty Mobile. Okay, this game is kain-kain naman ay handle. Wala mang problema dito sa phone na ito. Maning-mani lang sa kanya sa Call of Duty Mobile. So expect si ML, si PUBG, same din. Hindi ka mahihirapan and smooth ang gameplay. Expect na very responsive ka ng uh, touch. And of course, the loudspeaker is quite okay. But of course, if you want a more personalized experience, I would uh, encourage you to try one of these, the Oppo Enco Buds 3. This one, 
I can say na ang ganda sa selfs sa tenga and kakaiba siya no unlike yung mga iba pinapasok na sa loob dito yung magnet clip lang dito and this one can last you for 2 days of usage and with active noise cancelling dito definitely yung mga maingay sa gilid like mga marites would be cancelled out link on the description so here's the fun part uh, playing Genshin Impact dito sa phone na ito now alam naman natin what happened today ipaprove natin na uh, si Genshin Impact has improved over from the first time that we played itong game na ito. So, uh, playing si Genshin Impact on all high settings. Nilagay natin sa uh, highest performance with uh, 60 FPS. And for the first 15 minutes, okay siya. Uh, wala naman naging problema. Unlike for the first time, nung nalaro natin, mapapansin mo, medyo nagtatrottle siya. And after several updates, well, honestly, it probably has uh, improved yung kanyang gaming experience dito sa phone nito. So, playing Genshin Impact for the first 15 minutes is okay. Then, playing for the next 15 minutes, uh, heading towards 30 minutes mark. Okay pa rin siya, but there are very minor na mga frame drops na napapansin ko. And, uh, habang naglalaro, playing with the big boss, playing with the uh, mga enemies, and tumatakbo ka. Especially, my favorite one, the swimming part. Okay, uh, you can say smooth naman siya. Wa wasn't really able to notice that much frame drops kung meron man. And based on my experience, I can say the gaming has improved. Okay naman siya. Probably medyo warm na sa likod, but you can always use a cooler to cool it down faster. Now, so OnePlus has its own partner. They are partnered together with Hasselblad. And this one sa likod, it has triple camera setup. Starting with a 50MP na main camera sensor with OIS, 32MP na telephoto lens, and a 48MP na ultra wide lens. This one can give you 8K 24fps na video resolution. And sa harap, there's a 16MP na front facing camera shooting up to 1080p and 30 fps. Now, I'm more intrigued to know na itong phone nito, would it be able to uh, step up ang ganang performance uh, over the first time that I've used it. So, uh, taking some outdoor shot, I can say na it has probably improved. Yung uh, focusing niya is a little bit faster. Uh, the shots are a little bit more natural. Uh, not quite sure ah, kung uh, napansin nyo na medyo mas saturated yung mga shots na before but this one parang it seems to me na mas naging natural siya after several updates and I'm happy with the changes the updates has brought to this phone so outdoor shots is definitely nice and using its zoom lens uh, and this one is the ultra wide na shot and uh, using a normal shot then this one is a uh, two times zoom what I can see is, medyo na-preserve naman ang kanyang color. No? Hindi naman siya nagbago kahit nag-change ka ng lens, which is okay. Definitely good for me. So, nag-try din tayo another angle, taking a look at this one. Uh, this is the uh, ultra-wide na shot. This is the one times zoom, 2 times zoom. Then, we go all the way to 5 times zoom. Then, this is 10 times zoom. And this is the 20 times zoom. So, all of these shots, well, for me, it's really nice. Even though going all the way up to 20 times zoom, the photo is still usable. And even zooming in 20 times zoom sa dito sa monument sa monumento in Caloocan City, well, I can say it's still good. Now, uh, so tinay naman natin siya on low light photography, taking on some food shots. It's definitely good. Uh, was able to perform uh, on some low light situation and in, on some indoor situation like taking some of these shots sa mga uh, apparels. It's uh, good. I mean, uh, making the shots more dramatic, itong camera niya is, I believe that I can call this a flagship level na camera. Ang kanyang front-facing camera is taking good outdoor shot, be it on, uh, using bokeh or just normal shot. Well, very, very nice. Very sharp ang aking photo, uh, very detailed. And taking some uh, indoor na low-light shot using the front-facing camera, well, equally, it's equally nice. And so, kumain kami ng buffet dito sa The Alley sa, by Vikings sa Cloverleaf Ayala. And I was able to make a vlog and was able to post it on TikTok. Let me share you yung uh, video na yun, capturing using the front-facing camera and the rear camera here. Pa panorin nyo to. Guys, right now, if a vlog natin kung ano pwede natin makain dito sa The Alley, dito sa Ayala Cloverleaf using our OnePlus 11. Tara, let's go. So, this is The Alley. So, uh, per head, uh, must charge ka for around 1,100 pesos per person. And, pwede mo i-avail ang kanilang birthday promo. <laughs> Tara, pasok tayo. So, there's a lot of food dito to choose from. We have 
Filipino food. And we also had Japanese food, mga sushi, mga sa- sashimi, everything's here. We also have roasted lamb, roasted beef, and roasted chicken. Medyo pila nga lang dito. Then we have pizza, pasta. Then we also have some Chinese dim sum over here. Meron din siya mga coffee and mga pastries dito from Nords. And of course, some bibingka from Ferinos. And of course, there's overflowing na mga juice dito. One of my favorite dito is definitely Four Season. We have overflowing beer dito. Ang hindi lang libre dito is ang kanilang mineral water. 25 per bottle. And of course, we have my favorite dirty ice cream na sorbetes. So yun guys, nakita na na everything na pwede na makain dito sa The Alley here sa Ayala Cloverleaf. And of course, right now, I'm still using my OnePlus 11 to take this full vlog. Okay? Until sa susunod na akin, food trip. See you soon! So, ang camera ni OnePlus 11 taking videos is definitely good. It's quite stable. And ang Oxygen OS ni OnePlus is very easy to use, very light. And well, I was able to even get a further expansion ng RAM natin. 16 plus 12 will give you a 20 gigs of uh, memory, giving you more than enough room. But of course, expanding your memory might take away some of your storage. Now, what can I say about the OnePlus 11? So, si Xiaomi, medyo nadismaya ako sa kanya. No? Si Xiaomi 13 Pro has went up. Ang price niya has shoot up to 59999 It's uh, near 60,000 pesos na flagship phone. Previously, si Xiaomi 12 Pro is priced at around 48999 So, at that price segment is, for me, okay, acceptable. Below 50,000 is acceptable as a flagship, flagship killer. Na, um, of course, jan po mapasok si OnePlus 11. Uh, would the OnePlus 11 be able to snag away yung uh, what Xiaomi has claimed na sa kanila, which is a good uh, bang for buck na flagship killer? For me, uh, this one, si OnePlus 11 can replace. It's a good alternative to replace the Xiaomi 13 Pro. It has the same processor, it has good cameras, it has a good display, gaming is also good, and battery life is pretty solid. And siguro, kung hindi ka lang siguro sanay sa OnePlus na design, this is how it looks like visually good, but si Emerald Green is definitely the color to go. Now, if you are a Xiaomi flagship user na medyo namamahalan ka na si Xiaomi 13 Pro, you can consider si OnePlus 11 at 49999 and I'll be linking on the description box below kung saan pwede siya mabili. Kung may natutunan kayo guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell para ma-notify kayo once na nag-upload ako ng mga videos dito sa aking channel. And so, ako para si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Psychic. What's up? Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.